Hi everybody, we miss you over here at Kroeninger. Today I'm going to be reading for you The Monster Who Lost His Mean, written by Tiffany Haber and illustrated by Kirsty Edmonds. By looking at the cover, fiction or nonfiction, what do you think? If you thought fiction, you're correct. So, The Monster Who Lost His Mean. Monsters are a spooky bunch, a scary, hairy group. They run in packs, leave giant tracks, and dine on eyeball soup. Mean, observant, and tough to please. Envious monster, noisy, super strong, remarkable, a monster, all of these. One day, a monster's M went missing, gone without a trace, and every M is custom made, the kind you can't replace. So now he's just the onster, and the teasing never ends. Not only has he lost his mean, but he's lost his monster friends. Boom, boom, crunch, crunch, the onster sits alone for lunch. Boo hoo, sigh, sigh, the onster's sad and starts to cry. I'm nothing since I lost my mean, he sobs into a stew. I've got to find the M or else it's bye bye, monster crew. The onster tears through all his sheets and peeks beneath his bed explores around the playground and picks apart his shed. He empties every garbage can and all of monster wood. He even checks the engine under every monster's hood. Nothing, not a, not a trace, he hangs his hairy head. Without my M, I'm not myself, I'm someone else instead. He can't be mean to human kids, so why not help with chores? Sweeping, heaping, lighthouse keeping, organizing drawers. He joins in all their soccer games and rules at basketball. He doesn't seem to miss that missing M that much at all. I'm having tons of fun, he laughs, returning from a swim, but then he hears some other monsters making fun of him. The onster feels embarrassed and sees their point of view. I really need to stop this stuff and do what monsters do. Maybe I'll pretend I'm mean. I bet it's not that hard. Perhaps I'll pull the flowers out of Mrs. Power's yard. He stares at all those roses in their stunning shade of red, but just can't bear to harm them, so he waters them instead. The onster thinks, I'll throw some eggs at Mr. Lander's van, but winds up cooking brunch instead for the entire Lander clan. I'm way too nice without my M. My monster days are through. I just don't fit in in monster wood. I'm not sure what to do. He sadly heads on home again with teardrops in his eyes. He swings his front door open and is greeted with, let me go back so you can see that. He's greeted with a surprise. A party in his honor. The Oster's eyes grew wide. His name and picture cover every empty space inside. I'm not a monster after all, the Oster comprehends. I may have lost my M, but then I found amazing friends. Boom, boom, pow, pow, the Oster waves and takes a bow. Let's have three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. He's happier in every way. So just like Monster, he took a bad situation and, and made it good. I'm hoping that's happening in your house. Hope to see you soon. We miss you.